Today on the channel, we kick it old school all the way back to the WWWF with Bruno San Martino and Gorilla Monsoon, Jax Class Superstars Series 10. The spirit of the Warrior will run for Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another Jax Class Superstars unboxing and review. And we are up to Series 10. And today, from the WWWF, we've got Bruno San Martino and we've got Gorilla Monsoon. But for all your modern day Mattel and Jazzwares wrestling figure needs and a whole lot more, hit up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. So we're up to Series 10 in the Jax Class Superstar Series and these unboxings and reviews. I'm working my way towards a complete loose set of these, of course, as you guys know by now. Uh, and we're to the time where we're throwing it to the old school. The, some of the legends. And Bruno San Martino, you know, he's been around for a long time as the WWWF champion back in the day. And Grilla Monsoon, a big man's big man way back in the day. But most known, of course, as an announcer in the WWF in the 80s for sure but we're going to do this review like we do all the reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there let's kick it off with bruno san martino might as well do that one of the greatest champions of all time unfortunately like a lot of older wrestlers it seems to be forgotten about more and more every single day we see that in baseball. We see that in the NBA. You know, Bill Russell just recently died. One of, if not the greatest basketball player of all time. Different era, different thing. It's a lot like our action figures. You know, there's a lot of people say, oh, these Jax figures are terrible and terrible, blah, blah, blah. And I get it. Everybody likes what they like, but you can't really compare these. You can compare anything, obviously, but with the technology of these back in the time compared to what Mattel has in this day and age, it's just not apples to apples. And it's a lot of that comparing superstars from yesteryear, be it NBA, be it MLB, be it NFL, whatever, or wrestling. It's tough to really compare with the same lens and the way the world was without internet, things like that. But Bruno San Martino, one of the greatest, longest-running champions of all time in wrestling. Uh, obviously, a lot of people do say, well, he was up in the Northeast and that was it. Luthez, my personal favorite uh, between the two, traveled the world, traveled all over. He was a true champion traveling. But you know what? At the end of the day... Bruno didn't have to. He didn't have to. He made all of his money up northeast, didn't have to leave. It's kind of like you. Hey, if you didn't have to leave your house or you had to travel the world working, what would you probably do? Well, I'm probably not going to leave the house because I'm going to get paid even more or just the same. And I'm going to put all those miles and all that stuff on there. So something to be said for a lot of things. Just always remember that. But you got Bruno here. Got that patented blue steel chair back in the day. Uh, everybody loved a blue steel chair. Nobody ever had the gray ones or the black one. It was all about the blue back in the day in Bruno's day, I guess. Sure, sounds good. Uh, you got Bruno. You got the WrestleMania ticket, of course, as we've been seeing with these. That is part of that ticket promotion for the free figure. Uh, we got that here on the side. Bruno San Martino on this side. There's old Bruno right there. You got the ticket promotion once again. And on the back, there he is, Bruno San Martino. We got the cross sell. We got the blurb. Got the glamour shots. <laughs> the cross sell is really funny on this one. Uh, it's always been a little strange, this set. Hey, you got Dusty Rhodes just kind of up there above everybody else. It's almost like they just shoehorned him in at the last minute. Not exactly sure why that uh, picture was always that way, but it always did stand out to me. Dusty just trying to get that uh, rub there, trying to get all the shine, it looks like. Uh, American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, for sure. And it looks like Bruno is true to form here. It looks like he's the exact same figure as we saw on the back of the package, which is always good, of course. Uh, Bruno San Martino debuted in 1959, 260 pounds, height six foot one, finishing moves, some old school wrestling moves, the old bear hug, the backbreaker, and the hammerlock. Uh, titles WWE Champion, International Tag Team Champion, and United States Tag Team Champion. And for the life of me, off the top of my head right now, I can't remember who his tag team partners were uh, for those title runs. I'm sure somebody will put it in the comments down below. But it looks good, of course. Collect your UPCs, collect these cards, send them in, get yourself your very own uh, bonus figure, which ended up being Hulk Hogan, as we know. All right, let's get Bruno out of the package here. Let's see what's doing with old Mr. Sam Martino, the living legend. Uh, before my time, of course... Uh, can I get him out? Now, when he, I came across the wrestling scene, he was pretty much on his way out. He'd pretty much given up on all modern wrestling by that time. You know, his son, uh, David San Martino, didn't really quite flesh out like we all hoped he would, I guess, or they hoped he would. Well, can I get this ticket out? There it is. Off the races. See you later. Goodbye. And what ticket do we get with Bruno San Martino? Oh, we get WrestleMania. Jeez, these are hard to get out today. 
Bam! See you later off to the side. Oh, WrestleMania 12, Anaheim, California. The boyhood dream comes true that night, I believe, right? I think so. But there it is right there. That is the ticket. And then we got Bruno in the plastic prison. There he is. And like I said, Bruno left wrestling for a long, long time. Really had nothing to do with it during all that time. Uh, I wonder how he made his money. Obviously, he made a lot of money in wrestling back in the day. But I wonder how he made his money in the 80s, 90s. I don't know if he was living off his wrestling name. It didn't seem to be. But I'm sure he had other investments, other things going on with Bruno. Have to imagine. Have to imagine. There it is. Off the races. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. And Bruno, a little bit of a plain figure. So we do get the blue steel chair. We've seen it once. We've seen it a million times. Uh, not a lot of difference here. But boy, when you were a kid and you got one of these, man, how cool was that? When I was a little kid in the LJN Hazard days, we had to invent our own accessories. And it was very cool for you guys to have this uh, back in the collecting days. So we got the blue chair with old Bruno San Martino. Now let's break down old Bruno's figure here. To me, I know this is Bruno San Martino all day long. If I look at the head sculpt, yep, that's Bruno. I can see a lot of people, especially people younger than me, not understanding that. Heck, a lot of people of my age. Uh, Bruno was before the heyday of my age, so a lot of people might not know that either. But I know that when I see it, that's Bruno San Martino. Uh, he does have the typical ruthless aggression body, ruthless aggression articulation. Of course, the arms go all the way around, bicep cut, single jointed elbow, wrist side to side, round and round. No wrist tape or anything with Bruno. Uh, he does have the waist articulation. You do get the legs uh, about like that and back about like that. So you can about do a front split there. Uh, you do get two black knee pads on him. You do get single jointed uh, knees. You do get ankles up and down. But a very, very plain Jane basic figure for sure. And that's kind of how wrestling was back in the day, of course. Uh, he does have his nice blue trunks on, black boots. Uh, just ready to party, ready to throw down, ready to fight Gorilla Monsoon if need be. Uh, he does have the painted on chest here throughout like Georgie Animal Steel we saw. It would have been interesting if they would have gave him the old real feel chest hair. Wouldn't that have been something? We could have just, oh, Bruno, man, that's quite the, quite the thing you got going on there. I believe Bruno San Martino did wear a rug as well. I believe he did have a hair piece. And I think it would come off and, no, no, wait. Yeah, I think he did have a hair piece. But Killer Kowalski was the one who had a big time hair piece that would get pulled off from time to time. Uh, remember when Bruno had that big curly hair? I don't know if some of you guys remember that either. Uh, he does have uh, hair on his back as well, so he's just haired out here. Can you imagine? He could be George Animal Steel Part 2 almost. Uh, but there's old Bruno San Martino. Is it the greatest figure of all time? No, but for the longest time, it was about our only Bruno San Martino figure outside of, uh, what was it, OSFTM, didn't they make? Or no, it was FTC, those bloody variant figures that I absolutely hate. But he also had an LJN way back in the day, which was a jobber in most kids' fig fed, including mine, back in the day, which is kind of funny. Now we turn our attention to Gorilla Monsoon. The hits keep on coming. Now, when most of us think Gorilla Monsoon, we think of him with Bobby Heenan or Jesse Ventura or Primetime Wrestling, maybe even Commissioner uh, Monsoon. Not a lot of people remember back to his wrestling days. And I remember just being absolutely shocked when I got a VHS tape at the old store back in the day, the old VHS tape store. Uh, it was out in the middle of the country. I was at my grandparents, and they had just a couple of VHS tapes. I was like, I'll get all the wrestling ones. I'll use them all this weekend. And one was like wrestling from the 50s and 60s and it was like an old you know vhs tape kind of generic one and it had old matches a lot of them without sound to them and i remember just being dumbfounded knowing gorilla monsoon was i knew he was a wrestler but i never imagined what he looked like or how he wrestled compared to you know you got gorilla with the rose glasses and the floral kind of uh, jacket going on that's what you're thinking gorilla monsoon so you see him in this singlet this gear he's got guys on his shoulders doing the big airplane spin it just it's like your mind couldn't put two and two together. And that's one of the only wrestlers that has ever done that for me. Maybe it's because of my age. Maybe some of you guys out there, maybe you've seen some of your announcers. Maybe Taz. Maybe you know Taz just from this. And then you go back and say, wow, that's what he was like in ECW. I guess it's that kind of uh, dynamic there. But it was always just strange for little Kyle to see Gorilla Monsoon wrestling. Uh, maybe I'm the only one, but uh, I want to share that little story with you guys. But there's old Gorilla. Of course, he's got a WrestleMania ticket. Is it the exact same ticket? It is the exact same ticket. Oh, man, I, I got two tickets. Who's coming to Anaheim with me? Uh, we got two tickets there. Of course, he's got his sledgehammer because, hey, why not? Just give him an accessory. A sledgehammer works. So you got Gorilla there, big one, singlet, glamour shot on the side. Definitely looks like Gorilla. His friends called him Gino. And there he is, Gorilla Monsoon. Gorilla loved to gamble, too. He was a gambling man. He was like young Kenny Rogers before Kenny Rogers. You got the big cross cell. You got UPC. He's got warnings. You got the uh, tail of the tape. Of course, the blurb. And then you got his uh, glamour shot right there in the corner. Let's see what it says about our old friend Gorilla Monsoon. Debuted 1958, 400 pounds, height 6 foot 5, finishing move, of course, the airplane spin. So there you go. And I, it checks out. It checks out. 
Uh, but there's old Gorilla right there, and of course I do have one loose. Uh, I had to have him loose back in the day. I don't know why, but I had to apparently. But I do have that loose here. Uh, Gorilla, it's funny, it's a younger version of his last head sculpt, the more announcer one, but to me, it still looks like Gorilla Monsoon. I could pull this out of a lineup much like I could Bruno San Martino. Uh, and I always did like the appearance of Gorilla Monsoon here. Now, this figure didn't light the world on fire, as you can imagine. Just kind of like if this came out in modern-day Mattel, it would probably be, uh, they don't do them anymore, but a Walmart exclusive, The Legend, uh, only in the Walmart cases. Uh, and it would probably peg warm like a Mae Young and a lot of, like, a lot of those guys have over the last couple of years. He does utilize the super heavyweight body mold here. Uh, a little big. Uh, I guess it fits okay. I mean, he was a big, big guy back then. It's funny. He was still a big guy when he was an announcer, but he slimmed a lot down from uh, his time from this, of course. Uh, and I believe Gorilla Monsoon was like a, I don't know about world famous, but a pretty good collegiate wrestler, high school wrestler. He was he knew enough to be dangerous. Let's leave it at that. Uh, but articulation wise, it's the exact same as Bruno San Martino here. A good set, a good head. You do get a soft, good singlet here. Nice to see no staining of any kind. Uh, after all these years, no staining on this one. I wish Mattel and Jazzwares could do that from time to time. Uh, but he does look nice. He almost looks like he's ready to join the Hart Foundation and Bret Hart because he's got the black and blue. We did get the class superstars Bret Hart. Maybe put those guys as a tag team if you want to. Very uh, similar outfits going on. Uh, but a big, big figure here. One of the classic days of professional wrestling, I guess you could say, with these two. Uh, throwing it back to the old school WWF days is what we got right here. So there it is. There's Bruno Santorantino. <laughs> Easy for me to say. There's Bruno San Martino. There's Gorilla Monsoon. Jack's Class Superstar Series 10. Any thoughts from you two out there? Were you of an age where you passed on these guys? Maybe you didn't even know who they were. Uh, I can see a lot of you guys watching this video right now that don't know who he, the, either of these guys are, which is just crazy for me to believe. But hey, that's the way it goes. Time never stops for anybody, as we know. But uh, make sure you leave me a comment with your thoughts on these two. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, as you know. You can be a member of the Patreon channel, and you get these videos months ahead on the Classic. Uh, we're way, way up there compared to traditional YouTube. Bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways over on the Patreon as well. Social media, you can find me at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for Bruno and a Gorilla, I'm a Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.